Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are we rolling? <laughs> we are. We're rolling. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is day two <coughs> of our Northwest Arkansas trip. We are going to visit the Pea Ridge National Park um, and two state parks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so let's get going. <laughs> The first thing we had to do when we entered the visitor center was to stamp our National Park Passport Book. Pea Ridge National Military Park is a United States National Military Park located in northwest Arkansas near the Missouri border. The park protects the site of the Battle of Pea Ridge fought on March 7th and 8th in 1862. The deciding point in the battle occurred in front of the Elkhorn Tavern along the Telegraph Road, which are still visible today. Due to the arrogance of the rebel commander, the battle was a victory for the Union and helped it gain control of the crucial border state of Missouri. It is estimated that roughly 3,000 soldiers lost their lives on these grounds. Our original plan was to go to the Prairie Grove and Dare devil's den state parks but google informed us that they were closed today so we switched up our plans and headed to missouri to visit the george washington carver national monument Oh, okay, <laughs> we just got back in the car from uh, walking a mile-ish um, around these national park. There is a really nice trail. Most of it is uh, gravel, but there's some that's paved and it's handicapped accessible. Um, but it just showed like um, the log cabin that uh, the carvers lived in and some other slaves in that area lived in uh, the cemetery is there uh, but George uh, Washington Carver has a really interesting life, life. Mm -hmm. did a lot yes very interesting very talented mm -hmm. very smart man I didn't know that he was a he painter was Yes, yeah. Well, uh, I guess I didn't know I, a lot about him, but that is what really, I think, to my best surprise. That he painted, yeah. yeah. And he, yeah, he came up with all sorts of ways to use peanuts. Yeah, I think it said like 300 soybeans. different ways. Yeah, using peanuts, yeah. alternative. Um, he was, I guess, probably one of the first people to recycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he used... Um, one of his sayings was to use use the unusual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come up with ways to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of my yeah. favorite sayings yeah. that I saw in there mm -hmm. that he said was, "Do common things in an un in uncommon ways." Right. Well, that kind of stuck with me. That's, yeah. that's a really was, neat way to think about it. He was born a slave. He lost his father right after he was born. Right before yeah, his, a few weeks after. A few he was weeks born, after he was born, his father was killed in a logging accident 
Uh, his brother uh, passed away. His, his brother, mother. He and his mother were, were kidnapped, and kidnapped. She was never found. She was never found. Uh, they don't he, know what happened to her. So he, the uh, yeah, they kind of the owners, the Carvers, you know, raised him. Mm -hmm. And but when he was like ten, he 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 was he wanted to get an education really bad, and so they had a a school here in Diamond, but it it wasn't enough for him. He wanted to learn more, mm -hmm. so he walked at ten years old, ten to twelve years old. He walked eight miles to Neosho. To the school there so he could get a better education and then he just went from you know school to school and went through a well a terrible time with with all the racism and everything that was going on at that time just mm -hmm. right after in the Civil War and the, yeah so he, he was, was there through all the Jim Crow um, but he wasn't really a big activist or anything in that <coughs> Of course, he, no, he just, did have to mm -hmm. face the uh, racism. Oh yes, a lot during that time. He was a very kind soul. Mm -hmm. He had a very strong faith in God, and uh, he he believed that God was leading him to help people, and yeah. so that's what he he did mm -hmm. his life. You know, his life. So you know. And this is why we enjoy coming to these state parks and national parks because this is stuff that you don't learn in school. And so you only learn about this when you actually go to these sites. Yeah, and it makes it real. It yeah. makes, yeah, when what you, get you to, have learned, it just makes it yeah. kind of come to life. So, And it, it just it's, feels so different than reading a textbook than actually being like, oh, this is where he, this is where he was born. born, and this is where he hung out with his friends, and this is the same creek that he went and got water from, and it's just really neat to it, put it into perspective of how these people lived. It really is, and it really makes me appreciate what people did mm -hmm. to uh, to make our country what it is today, and you know, and and just think of all the inventions and things that he did that you know to improve yeah nutrition our life now yeah he had and a the really nutrition yeah big influence in people's nutrition nutrition and yes he was yeah. he was quite yeah it's he was quite the man and he was yes. practically self-taught in a, a lot of these things a lot of things yes yes so. and they called him the plant doctor because he yeah. could take any plant and the peanut and, man and the and peanut man and all, yeah, you know uh, a lot of nicknames yes he was he was quite I mean, I'd always heard of him. I knew he had, you know, with peanuts, that he did a lot of things with peanuts, but I didn't know a lot of the other, you know, aspects of his life. And so it's just very, yeah. Very interesting. I'm grateful. Very grateful. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if y'all are ever in this area, you mm -hmm. should come. Should if come. you enjoy history at all, come walk this, come walk the path, go to the museum, watch the movie. It's all really interesting. Yeah, we we'll learned about him. Okay, those are the plantain yucca. 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 And then the sweet plantain. And then the green plantain right here. Um, and vinatas. And then the Todorus. No. Tutonis? 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 Oh my gosh, these and that are so good. I everything else is oh my gosh, it's amazing. The green one is in the I didn't know what to expect. We've never had Cuban before, but we will definitely have it again. And I had the Cuban coffee, and it was delicious. Oh my gosh, it's really impressive. Work. It only felt right that we end our night with a scoop of blended ice cream from Trash's Ice Cream.